I've had a pretty busy week in Eldering. So let's talk about what I was up to so we are all ready for tomorrow's stream. This will be on this channel at 7pm GNT, like always on Fridays and then another one on Sunday. So what have I been up to? I started my week by exploring the Altus Plateau. I found some caracoils. I killed a stone digger troll in there. Then I went to the plague area. That's the green fortress village on the map. It's a very toxic place. I found a painting there. I also found Valkyrie's prosthetics. I met the boss of the place and actually beat him, though it took me a few tries. And after leaving the place, I decided I might as well sort out the painting as well. It took me a bit, but in the end, I found the painter and got a harpo from him. Not very useful for me. Next step was going to Lyurnia. I explored the Rea Lucaria Crystal Cave and the Crystal Tunnels. And then, wanting to see what options I had of spells, I went to miss it. Millicent's dad in his shack, except he's gone, and instead she was there. We spoke for a bit and then parted the ways and I met her again in the Altus Plateau, where I actually gave her the Valkyr's prosthetic, after all she is missing an arm. And finally I came across her in the Happy Village, where she offered to join me in battle in the future. I don't know when, as she isn't really a summon, but we will see. I then found an elevator. It took me down to a cave full of ants. I hate it. There was some creepy thing hanging from the ceiling. Um, I got the map of the area, then found the nest of the ants and decided to just nope right out of that situation. But on my ongoing quest for spells, I went to check on Seluvius to see what he could sell me and he is dead. I got the spell bearing and brought it to the old lady so at least I can shop from him, but he is dead and I don't know why. And I don't know what we're going to do about his potion. Now, the creepy dungy the guy, he told me he was in the capital sewer somewhere. So that was... So this was as good time as any to go find him. I hate these sewers. I was lost for so long. I did end up wandering into like a church or something down there. Where Melina started asking me to like not pursue the frenzied flame. I killed the boss in there, found a secret path behind the altar had to do some pretty scary platforming to get down to the bottom of a big tunnel only for the floor to fall away. And again Melina started telling me like please don't find this frenzied flame. I don't know quite what it means but there is a door down there and that I can't get through right now. We will maybe get through it later. Of course don't tell me any of the answers to this. As I'm trying to remain spoiler free and we will probably deal with this sometimes later. I then continued wandering around the sewers until I finally found the dung eater where he was bashing his face against the wall. I opened the door for him and he promised to do some pretty bad things to corpses and I am not a fan. I went back to the round table hole to speak to him there to let him know like hey I let your body out. But only thing I found there was a message asking me to go meet him at the outer moat so he can defile my body. Yay. Yeah, that's no, I'm not okay with that. So I went to the moat and when he showed up, I killed him. When I returned to the round table hole, the spirit was still there. And now he's talking about him being me and me being him and I should go defile people out there. I don't like him. I'm just gonna leave him alone for now. At least he's dead. Or physically dead. I don't know. But having done some killing, I figured I might as well go kill Ivan. Which is the guy I'm supposed to kill for the lady in the volcano manor. And then decided to walk up to the manor from the bottom. Which did include climbing some silly long ladders. And finding the full grown falling star beast which could kill me in two shots. It took me a while and quite a bit of death, but eventually I did kill it. I went to the volcano manor, told the lady I killed the guy, and she gave me a new spell. I chatted with Bernal, who is now willing to sell me stuff, and with the hunchback girl, who told me she keeps on hearing weird things in the walls. This is also where Abe told me that there are actually two different ways up the mountain, so I went up the other way as well. 
when traveling up that side, I actually came across Sorcerer Azul, or whatever he has become, and he gave me a spell. My next stop was the Belfries. I went through the one of Anticipation, which actually takes you to the starting boss of the game. It was very satisfying killing him. Then Ape told me, hey, there are some butterflies over there that are very valuable but quite rare in the game. I walked over there to grab them and fell to my death. While he was laughing and laughing and laughed. After this death, I went to Kaelit and found a place called Celia Hideaway, where I killed more crystal ladies and ended up finding a magic gate. And I need something called the Seal Breaker. Now, this is a magical barrier, so I went to speak to Selen to see if she knew anything about it. I also showed her the magic I learned from Asur, which apparently used to be her teacher. She asked me to help her and I agreed, so she wants me to find Master Lusat, who is the other super important mage guy, who apparently is hidden behind the door somewhere and she gave me the key to the door we found. So I went through it, found the guy, got a spell, and returned to Selen to tell her about him. But instead she asked me to go check on her actual body, which is the one we found locked up in a basement chained to a wall. I went there and now it decided to talk to me, and it ripped out its primal glintstone, which is apparently the life and sense of the sorcerers. And all I have to do is put it in a new body and she can live like that. Thankfully, we have found a doll version of her, the Saluvius made once, and he is dead, so he doesn't need it, so I went and put the thing in that. And after I did that, she started talking about expelling Renala, taking over the academy, and restoring it to its former glory. As Renala is not really doing much with the academy, I figured I might as well help her, so I did help helping her take down a witch hunter. And she was so happy. She promised the entire academy will swear allegiance to me when I become Elden Lord and she's so proud of me and is so nice. I told her I found Lusad and she was just absolutely thrilled. Sadly, when I came back, Renala was back and Selen is now a ball of horror on the floor near her. She can still sell me spells though, which is, I guess, nice. But she had a pretty bad end. My final thing this week was going to the Liurnia Tower, and I put the upside down statue on a pedestal there. And when I went in, the tower was upside down. It was actually surprisingly difficult to get through because there was this one mob who just kept on killing me. But in the end, I managed to get to the top of it and move over to the second tower. And at the top of that, I found the original body of Rani which was quite sad. And that's where I decided to end things for now. So that's where we will be picking up on Friday and we will be going to do something interesting. I don't know what, but whatever it is, is going to be really fun. So I hope you join me on Friday and of course do all the good YouTube stuff while you're here. But whatever you do, I hope you have a lovely day.